Hello, I'm Dick Termas, and we're going to work on drawing the cylinder today. Uh, cylinder is an interesting uh, form to draw, and first thing you have to do is figure out what the artistic angle is. Uh, the artistic angle, in, in my opinion, isn't this. It's a rectangle, and it isn't that because that could be, that circle could be a sphere. So to get the right angle, I think you need a little bit of the top and the side so it's slightly tipped. Now it could be tipped that way too, but we're gonna just stick with it, try and keep it simple and tilt it like this. So how do you draw that? Uh, you can see a lot of other examples of cylinders here too. A cylinder, usually you top, start with an oval like this, okay? And you don't want to start with a football. Well, for some reason, people like to come off of that as the top of a cylinder, and it really is, is uh, it never does go to a point like that. You can't, you can't turn the cylinder and have it do that. So you come off with a nice curved edge, and then you run straight up and down lines that are just like the edges of your paper, okay? And then, and these two lines should be actually parallel to each other. And then you need to copy this line right here down below, like this. And if you really copy it, you have to notice that this curves right into this line. So this has to make a nice curve into that. This has to make a nice curve into that. And it makes a gigantic big difference. So that's the, the basic idea, Par two parallel lines. This is the number two copies this number two and the, uh, you have and you know the parallel lines we did that before that's your number one lines and this one number twos are a curving line like that so that's that's the basis of, of drawing a, a good cylinder we have a really neat video of this that I'd like to have you look at that explains this quite well too take a look I don't think of a cylinder as just like a glass, but it can be elongated tube. It can be flattened out almost like a coin. The different views of a cylinder are very important because if you look straight across at the cylinder, you get nothing but a rectangle, which is very hard to tell it's a cylinder. But when you look up underneath it, you see the bottom of the cylinder. And when you look down at it, you see the top of the cylinder. If you're looking straight up or straight down at the cylinder, all you see are circles. Examples of cylinders are found in many places. We find them in nature. There are also many man-made objects. Let's go back to the studio and find some cylinders to draw. All right, I'm glad you looked at the video now and you saw the photographs that we think are connected with the, with the video. And as you can see, we're looking at real stuff out there. And I was, while you were looking for real things out there, I was looking for real things in my studio and finding some cylinders that were interesting to look at. And I'm gonna uh, try and draw this particular uh, can of, of nuts here and see if I can get it drawn by looking at it because a lot of times I like to make it up out of my head. So to start with, we need the artistic view, which is an oval shape like that. Okay, and then the up and down lines, these edges of it to make the cylinder and then get the proportion uh, you kind of look at what this length is versus this length, and I think it would be about there that this would come across. Remember that this curve is, this copies this one, this one copies that one, <clears throat> parallel lines, parallel curves, all right? So we start with that. Once we get that all to where it looks quite good, then we look at the details of this. There's a little rim here around the top. That's why it snaps on there. So this little lid comes around like this. Okay, and it actually extends out slightly. So we could just pull this out a little bit more when we're constructing this and bring that out a little like that. 
So that's that little rim. And then inside, you can see there's a little rim inside there too. All right, so we're gonna try and copy that. It just swings around. It's the same thing as the outside, just a little bit smaller. And we have that little rim. And then there's a little steel uh, ridge around the bottom that just comes out a little bit, curves around right along the bottom like this and curves in like that. Okay, so, so far, and we've got a nice solid lid and <clears throat> there's all of this uh, writing on it. Whenever you do writing on a cylinder, you have to have it flow with the cylinder. So as it comes across like this, and then this can be just a real light line that you draw. And what you're doing is copying these lines up here, these curves, and down below here. So I'm going to swing across. This is where the writing on the cans would go. And this has to curve right in like that. This curves right in here too. And then <clears throat> instead of writing this, I'm going to write my own name on here. And you're, you're drawing along with us, I presume. If not, you should be. Okay, and you can, on yours, you can write your own name. But see if you can get it to fit into this swinging around surface here. And as it gets closer to the edge, it should foreshorten a little bit. It should be not quite so wide. It gets sh sh closer and closer together as it gets closer to the edge. All right, so that kind of gets the, the name put out there. And uh, I think that, and there could be other lettering and stuff that goes on. If it does, it has to flow with this also, like that. And then <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a, another drawing up here that's coming out of my head. I like to do that. Do one that's uh, coming out of nature or out of the real world and then one that's coming out of my head, and see if you can see what this is. I'm, I'm going to run it a little bit uh, on a different angle because I want it to be very, very long. And so I'm going to start with an oval here and run a line way off like that. And then another coming off this other edge and a line that's parallel to that first one. Okay? And then I'm going to do a little bit down here I'm going to put a little bit of a, another curve in here. I'm going to shade this in black just for the effect of it. Another little line here and another line about right there that comes into it. And then up on this end, I'm going to curve it off like this so that it curves like these and then put this little guy out here. And I hope you can tell that's what you have in your hand right now and you're drawing this on your sheet of paper, right? That's what I'm hoping. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching and watch more of this in the future. Uh, thank you very much. Next time, we will learn how to add cylinders onto cylinders. Hope to see you there.